hope all of you are doing good so in this video i want to discuss about different types of libraries frameworks or tools that every developer should be aware of especially if you are in java or spring boot field right so as a developer we all know like our duty or our job doesn't finish as soon as we write code right the real work starts after we write the code because that's the time we have to do testing we have to do a lot of stuff right uh, so at high level if you will see here right the type of testing here right so there are a lot of type of testing but i have here to specify the testing which are mostly used when it comes to microservices or ui testing so first one is unit testing so unit testing we all know right uh, so unit testing we have to test at the class level or the method level basically the smallest component available in your code right so we call it as a unit testing integration testing is basically when you start combining different modules right and try to try to test how all of them are working when you are integrating different modules together right and then the third one is performance test right so this is really important right uh, as we are working on microservices we are working on ui and these days user doesn't want to wait more than some millisecond right if user is waiting more than half second that means you are losing a customer right so performance testing or we call it as a load testing also right so you put a load and see how your code is running right with one user it's running fine but what if we run 10 different users hitting your code every second right or 100 tps 1000 tps right so that's when the real performance testing comes into picture then regression test right so regression test is like most of the times we are working in a existing code base right so let's say if there are already 90 modules right and you are testing or you have written a new module or new code file right by writing your new code file the existing functionality should not break right so that is known as regression testing and then we have final testing which we call it as end to end testing or system testing right so system you can think about let's say youtube right so youtube is a one product inside that product they will have a 100 different modules and under each module they will have maybe 1000 of classes right so youtube will test like okay now all the modules are deployed let me try to upload a video how much time it is taking so basically end to end testing is being done so this is high level about testing so the first library right which everyone should be aware of if you are into java or if you are getting started with a spring boot right so j unit right so j unit is very friendly unit testing framework so you should explore that again this video i will not go deep into the code level this is just a informational video maybe if you like this video you can comment on this video like you want the detailed level video for each library i will try to create that right based on your feedback or response but the first one is j unit right so you can go to j unit and read their user guide and you will able to see how to play with it right what is j unit and their documentations are very nice right so i would always suggest before you go to any blogs before you go to chat gpt before you go to any other ai tool please go through their official document once because it will clear your base like chat gpt might directly give you this code right so you will able to run this code but your base or basics will not get clear right my preference is if i want to learn some library i always go to their official uh, documentation and spend two days even one week right so you are not in a rush right because if you spend one week on each library so imagine in one or two months you are familiar with lot of libraries at a basic level also your concept is clear right don't directly jump into code because these days i have uh, i have seen people directly jumping into code because they want to do too many things in very less time so that is not possible because when you try to do too many things in less time uh, either you are compromising on the basics or either you are compromising on the code quality right so this is j unit and j unit is being used with mokito right so you would have if you are already working in spring boot you would have seen using j unit plus uh, mokito right so for mocking the beans and other things uh, mokito is very very useful right uh, so if you see here and they have really good points here so i want to highlight this point remember right do not mock types you don't own don't mock value objects don't mock everything show love with your test right so these four points are really good right because sometimes you start mocking everything right just to pass the test or something right but don't do that your test should be uh, in very good shape your purpose of the test is to actually test not to pass the test right so you can go through their documentation they have given good how then they can they have also good uh, documentation here 
right? So you can go to this documentation and you will be able to see all the examples here, right? Uh, so you will be able to see how to do uh, with uh, Java 8 and also latest features, right? All the tags, how to mock final types, email, final methods. So go through that also. And both of these are being used in the Spring Boot test, right? So if you go here, uh, Spring Boot test, right? Uh, so you have to uh, use Spring Boot starter test, right? In which you can use J unit, you can use Spring test, you can use assert J. That is also very good library for assertion, right? Mokito we already uh, discussed, right? And based on the JSON, because these days we are uh, working with a lot of microservices, right? You might need one of the JSON libraries. So I like JSON path over JSON assert, but you can explore both of them. And if I go to here, right, JSON path, so you will see here, you just need to add this dependency and you can use different operators. You can use different functions, right? Filter operations and all that things in your test, right? We can see assert J also. So that is also very good and is widely used uh, library, I would say. This is again uh, used uh, for assertion, right? So you can have different scenarios for assertion. And the next tool, this is my favorite tool because this offers you real device cloud with Android or you can also use for mobile app. You can also use for uh, websites also. Right? So if you want to automate your testing, you can check lambdatest.com. So they have very good automations which you can do on mobile app plus browser also. So if I go here, right, in real device, so you will be able to see we have two options here, app testing and browser testing. And under app testing, you can either test your iOS or Android app, right? In browser testing also, you can give the URL of your web application and you can select what device you want to test. Let's say I will test hungrycoders.com on iPad Pro 13, right? So as soon as I will click start, the real device cloud syncing will happen and then the selected device will get initialized and the browser will be launched on that device, right? So if you see it's uh, launching and the device is launched now and the browser is also launched and it is opening my website hungrycoders.com, right? So I can see like how it looks, right? I can play with it and all that things I can do. This is I'm just showing you the manual way, but all that things you can do via automation also. So if I go here, so I will just click on end session and I will go on automation under automation. Also, you will see they have both automation for web and app automation also. And in the app automation, you will see they have very good documentation and you can click on get started and they use APM testing framework, which is open source framework. Let's see an example of real test. So if you see here, this is a sample test Java, right? And the device is real Galaxy S20. And when you click on it, you will be able to see all the details of the test, including what was ran, including the video, right? And including the capabilities, screenshots, and everything will be shown to you. So if you see here, right, the video of the test is loading. And if you play the video, you will be able to see everything here. And you will also be able to see app info capabilities. And you will also be able to get the screenshots here. And in the middle section, you will be able to see all the things that were done, like create new session, get session, find element, right? And you can get screenshot of all the steps also in the middle also. And also you will be able to see the network logs. You can use the REST API to download APM logs. And the best part is you can also share this test, right? With anyone, if you click on share test, the pop-up will open. You can also create a shareable link or you can just enter email ID. So that is really good part. So this is for the Android, right? In a similar way, you will execute for the iOS also. So all these features are given to you like screenshots, videos, capabilities, network logs, device logs, APM logs, right? And you can also share the test directly. Really good. So you can check out lambdatest.com. You can check out their automations and you can check like real device testing. Okay. So the next one is very important these days. It's really getting uh, famous to write the business test cases, right? Because when you work in a project, you will have a working with different product owners, managers, which will give you the business scenarios also, right? And business scenarios, they can't write in a technical language, right? So Cucumber framework gives you or gives the business people flexibility, right? To create a scenario or a feature file in an English-like format, right? So this is very good example. And these days, what happen is, if you are aware about behavior-driven development, right? So what happen is like, uh, we call it as a BDD test case. So every user story, if you do in Agile, it should have some BDD. So as a developer, you have to write a code, you have to write unit test cases, you have to write 
integration test cases and you also have to see that regression testing is not failing right and then you also have to write bdd and before launching you have to do performance testing right so all that things a uh, developer have to do it's not about only writing the code okay and you can also uh, explore their cucumber studio to create a scenario file basically let's say a new scenario name right user navigate to blog right so this is the scenario right then you can mention test steps right what will happen in this and you can also give tags because at high level you can give tags this is for this module so that when you run you can specifically run for particular tags also so cucumber is very important you should explore it or uh, try to run a uh, try to create feature files test steps and all that things now coming to uh, performance testing right so these days i was saying about microservices right so when lot of users are hitting your microservices in parallel right how your code or microservice will respond right so jmeter scripts are widely used to do that a uh, load testing and measure performance so jmeter you should try create just one microservice try to deploy it and then uh, and do the performance testing using jmeter script right one is postman so it's very basic i know but uh, postman also you should be able to see uh, the one part is how to play with headers how to play with a body how to pass it body and the other feature which most of the developers don't use is pre request script right so this is very useful when you have to pass some authentication or token in the uh, authorization header right so of course the token changes every request right because it's based on the timestamp also and the parameter you are passing to the request right so pre request script here you can write your logic to create a uh, hmac or any other token right so it supports javascript so a lot of people do that right if you have to create a token here just write a script and use this feature also and they have also very uh, useful things in postman especially in postman enterprise they have also collaboration between teams uh, right and other things you can also create workspaces and other things so postman yes uh, basic uh, most of you will be knowing but if you go deeper at a script level test level enterprise level you can explore it can really helpful tool for collaboration among a bigger teams and the last one is playwright so playwright is like end to end testing because in this you can also do ui testing uh, you can click on ui button selenium thing and it will record a video and all that things and it's available in java it's available in javascript python dot net right? you can explore playwright uh, so their documentation is also uh, good so in this also basically you can start a browser you can launch it right so you can all that things for your end to end testing where you will be able to test ui also you will be able to test apis also everything when you combine you can even create your regression suit in playwright also for end to end testing so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell icon for more programming content